I ride to where I think that cow should stop and I can tell it's not going to stop, then I'm gonna back back off. Because if I get out here too much and it's one of those cows that just, it's not gonna honor my horse and I can tell start pushing me, well now, if I'm out here too far and that cow won't honor my horse, now that cow's gonna control me more than I'm gonna control the cow. Matt has really simplified this for me and um, I know my weakness was cutting cattle and moving the cows forward and with the way he presents his message that's very easy for me now as uh, we did today and I'm excited about that. Really enjoyed the clinic. I, you know, I was a little skeptical. It was for me that was reaching my pocket a little deep, but uh, walking away with it, having I would have spent double that for it. Matt has got an extremely good way of wording things that uh, make sense. Um, I mean, overall, I think he's done everybody here. Everybody here has definitely improved, even just in the two days. And um, he, he puts keeps things in simple terms. But he doesn't just say you need to be in position, but he tells you how to get there and how to get yourself set up. Um, I mean, he helped me today. I've been having problems with my horse getting back into the herd and told me exactly what I need to do coming out of the turn to get him up out of the herd, which I've just been kind of struggling with. And that's one thing that's going to help me a lot right there. Pretty good on this side, just on that side right there. Hold his front end up. Pick your hand up, hold his front end up. There. Change his angle back to that flag just a little. Yeah, fix it here, because if you fix it here, you can change the angle and then it'll get there and he stop. But if you wait and try to fix it then, then a lot of times you're fixing it when they need to be stopped, so you're just making them turn and they're missing the stop. So, so fix it coming out of the turn and then travel on at the new angle. Uh, I really enjoyed the clinic. Uh, I like the fact that Matt uh, presses the consistency and simplicity of cutting and how just to try to keep it simple, not get really involved in, in all this critiquing and back and forth type deals. If you can keep your horse in relationship to that cow, everything else will come together. One, you know, I went from a horse that looked pretty good on the first day, by the second day was just, I mean, I couldn't be happier. That's one of the hard things with cutting is you can't say always do this. You, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes, you know, if I cut a good cow, I'm gonna be a little more aggressive and ride out there a little further to control that cow. If it's a tough cow, I'm gonna back back off inside a little bit and just play defense till I can get off and cut another cow. But, but the key is wherever I am on that cow, I have to be the same on both sides. I can't be at the cow's head on this side and its shoulder on the other side. He simplifies it and I think a lot of people overthink this and I really think a lot of people can do it. There aren't very many people that can actually teach and communicate well and I find that just amazing that just little simple things that I've picked up today and this weekend, it, I mean, well you've seen me from day, day one to today. It's amazing, and I can't wait to go to the next cutting. We had every level in there. You know, you have people that have trained their own horses, people that are just starting. I think people that are even like, there are a couple ranch cutters in there. And to see them improve also, I mean, just drastically. It, this isn't just a, a trainer's clinic. It isn't just a beginner's clinic. It, it tailors to everyone. Sometimes when you have a group of cows out here and they're kind of milling around, you got to take a little pressure off and just give it a little time and get your cow stopped. You go, just, all you can do now, stick with her. There you go, good, good job. Yeah, there's a couple of things he pointed out right off the bat. My stirrups are too long, I brought those up. Now it's easier for me to kind of be cueing the horse and all. And then, uh, you know, I have a big problem with, with staying relaxed in my stops and stuff and he worked with me and did, uh, I feel much more comfortable about that now. I'm, I'm, I'm anxious, I can't wait to get home, let the horse uh, kind of rest a little bit, then I'm gonna start practicing. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get ready for that next show. You know, now if I was coming to Texas or something, hey, you know, can you, do you have any advice? Can I stop in? I feel comfortable calling him at least and I, that's priceless.